Hello, we have started our new broadcast. Today, uh, Jaguar is uh, a host channeler who will uh, channel and uh, guide that webinar. And I welcome everyone. Hi, Charles, Harry, Dan, Gabriel. And that would be Sabrina, uh, Jaguar, Caitlin, Nick, and Zina. Hello. 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 All right. Um, Caitlin, you are an experienced host. Would, are you in a position to st start a conversation with Jaguar? Oh, sure. Perfect. So Jaguar and Caitlin, you are drive now. Caitlin works as a host inviting questions and stuff like that. And Jaguar, you're welcome to drive it as well. Okay. Thank you, Maxim. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Caitlin. What's up? How, how hey, is everybody? Nick. Hi, Jaguar. Hello, Z. Hey, Jaguar. Hey, Jaguar. Um, Sabrina, do you want to speak? Yes. Um, I just want to say a few things. Um, that uh, uh, for those who've never heard Jaguar before, he um, channels an entity from um, a liar, an entity. And it's called Aha Katini, and his specialty is uh, channeling. However, um, you will find that many of his words of wisdom and information are vast. Um, one thing is he prefers the questions to be narrowed down and direct for the most part. So try and do that as you ask the questions. Um, and then we'll just allow the, the webinar to unfold, keeping in mind that uh, we want to allow everybody to have their turn. That's it. Thank you Great. for those comments. Um, I would like to build on that by saying that if you choose to write your questions down on paper or on your, on your computer, that's useful f for yourself so you can get clear if that's the actual question. For sometimes you have questions coming into our minds that are just a, let's say, starting point for a journey to get clearer on what we really are wanting to know. Sometimes you have first, first, if you'd like, first layer of questions is sometimes just a, first step of questioning. And if we step further into that space, we realize that our true questions lie behind those first, that first or those first layers. So, that's also something Aha Kitini has shared with me, and I have found it very useful. So if you are a person that tends to have and feel a lot of questions, a lot of questioning energy inside yourself, that's a powerful technique if you choose to use it. So now I would pass the mic, so to speak, to Caitlin, if you would be so kind. Okay, so take on the role of host and moderator. <laughs> well, all I can say is, just when you feel you are ready, then um, you can channel. And I, Jaguar's right. It would be a good time to write down questions because sometimes people forget their questions and it gets a little bit frustrating. So that would be a very good idea. And I don't know how. I don't know if there's any viewers watching, but if there is any viewers, if you'd be so kind to um, just put questions down in the chat box. I'm not sure how that works, though. Um, but, um, if, yeah, I'm not really sure how that works. Because somehow oh. people get, they see the questions and then they say that other viewers are asking them, and I'm not really sure of how to look yeah, at it, that. It's, if you it's, go 
it's yeah. in inactivated the question yeah. function for this hangout so they can't do it they have to contact one of us here to ask a question they do on, ah. on Google Hangouts chat if if um, they have okay. us there um, they can send us the question or okay. speci specifically to you or to me whoever uh, they have and we can ask the question for them the one question I do have for Jaguar um, mm -hmm. how does Ahakatini feel that the person has to be there in order to ask personal questions because I do have some but uh, I wasn't sure if he would be able to answer them since the person is not present and there seem to be personal and uh, I would like to invite a topic if we can and I think Hakatina would like that too if we can stay on a certain topic for a while and then shift if yeah. you're willing to do this okay. <clears throat> one topic uh, would be uh, shadow work uh, I would really like that yeah. if, if you brought yeah. that up yeah, I would like to hear more about that too. If, does anybody else yeah. agree? Working yeah. with your fears. I agree. Um, and, and I um, guess sort of, sort of in that line, um, uh, a lot of the new members have questions because they seem to be having encounters uh, with ETs and and. Um, I guess what some of them call, you know, abduction. So, if he could maybe comment on that, and um, because that also brings about fear on some people, on on how to deal with it or pointers on what to do um, while this is happening, and um, what what kind of steps uh, you can take to help yourself through the fear or if, if, if you are not in agreement with what's happening what's the best way to speak to them yes I agree I agree with that um, so <coughs> the topic today is shadow work is that the topic? Sh I guess shadow work fear um. okay All right. <coughs> So we're, oh. it's just one topic. And no, I guess we can change. But if we ask a bunch of questions mm -hmm. yeah, for a specific time and then yeah. change. Yeah, some questions have nothing to do with this. So I'm kind of confused. But um, yes. and Daisu, I would like to remember you that uh, remind you that uh, he isn't a part of Greg Fickner, so he doesn't yeah. know yeah, much about. Yeah, no, no, but not not in terms of policies, but in terms of of how the the person can handle the situation with them themselves yeah. emotionally, um, yes, yes. because it, it it is hard sometimes on the mind to grasp and and accept what is going on at the moment. So perhaps he could give us some pointers on on how to deal with it encounters generally yeah. yes because I think we're all having those those situations a lot of uh, people so I think it will benefit most of us I just wanted to comment uh, that uh, there is a chat uh, on humancolony.org where everybody can post their questions. So if someone here could read that chat, that would be uh, the easiest way to oh, post yeah. questions and, okay. and read them. Totally forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. Also, I, I, I didn't hear Jaguar for the last five minutes. Jaguar, are you still there? I'm leaving. Hope you have a good session. Okay. Goodbye, everyone.
Namaste. Namaste. I still can hear Jaguar. No. He seems to have connection. Jaguar, we can't hear you. Jaguar, we can't hear you. He's muted. Yeah. Yeah, he might be away for a second. Or he might be speaking and not hearing that we don't hear him. He, he write it that he's back. Oh! He, he write it that in the chat. Oh! He, away from keyboard, and then he said he's back. Oh, somebody now he is muted. AFK means away from keyboard. I, I didn't realize that, so yes. Okay, all is good now, then. All is good now. All right, I'll step out and continue to chat. I'll, I will join you late, later. Okay, thank you, Max. So I think um, I'm going to go on the Human Colonies chat and see if I can, if there will be any questions that we can get from other people. So I guess I'll just be in, in charge of that one. So is there any other topics that anybody would like to talk about when, we're, when he's channeling? Yeah, I've got one. Um, freeing self of uh, negative and fearful beliefs. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. How would we How would we go about uh, burning away these beliefs and restructuring them to a more positive um, kind of belief system? Mm -hmm. Okay. Personally, I would like to talk about um, telepathy because I, I hadn't well. That's like a question of mine. I had like a really weird experience today. Like, um, somebody was telling me to go to this nearby park, and it was really weird because I usually don't get telepathic messages like that. But it was weird. So I'd like to ask a question about that. Um, hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Can't hear you. Did you go to the park? Yeah, I went to the park. <laughs> there was only like uh, some little kids there, but they still were talking to me. Like the telepathically, whoever was telling me this, they said they were testing me, just a test to see mm. if I, could, I would actually go there. And I was like, oh my god, I totally just got stood up and I was just <laughs> walking home, and I'm like, oh. This is ridiculous. There was four-dimensional energy around me. I'm not going to lie. I did see some of it, but um, it was, like, transparent. And I was like, okay, I'm just going home. And they're just, like, testing. Like, they just said, oh, it was just a test. And I'm like, oh, screw you. I, was, I had my hopes up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. So there's nobody asking questions in the chat yet. So I guess everything's yeah. okay. But, yeah. Hi, Ruth. Um, hi. Hi. So hi. Hi. hi, everybody. Hello. It was really, it was really hi. hard to get back in. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. Hello. Uh, hi. <laughs> yeah. When, when you guys were speaking about shadow, um, what was the word that he used? Shadow work. Shadow work. Yes. Yeah. Can, can you expand on that a little bit? Um, the way I've seen it, um, I'm just uh, just starting to dive into this subject, um, but it's based around the aspects that we hide within ourselves, so that we may not necessarily be too uh, open to sharing with everyone, but in some ways these are our um, suppressed selves as well, so it's a, a means of Allowing yourself to become more uh, blocking away, uh, taking away a load of blocks and fears, taking away uh, beliefs that you aren't necessarily good enough, things like that. Um, I'm not 100% sure on it. Jaguar probably knows a lot more about it than than I, but that's what I've got from it so far. Yeah, you said it beautifully, actually. That that was that was a very good explanation. Um, so, does everybody want to talk about that? Do you, I mean, how would you guys like that to unfold? So 
Sorry, I'm oh. back. What were you saying, Sabrina? I heard you say something um, about shadow people. I'm not shadow people, sh uh, um, dealing with shadow. But it basically, it's everything is part of yourself. Yes. Yeah, I I got to know that I have been a shark in another lifetime, and I just have to realize it's part of me. I can't really ignore it when it comes up. Uh -huh. So here's a good way to recognize your shadows. If people keep coming into your life who push your buttons again and again with the same themes, like you keep meeting certain types of people and they... You know, you the people who really push your buttons a lot, and it happens again and again, like like people who get into the same type of relationships, and then you ask, you know, why are they still doing that over and over again? So, or you meet people who are often like lying to you, or deceiving you, or cheating on you, or whatever it can be. Then that's usually a shadow in in myself, in in ourselves, that we haven't embraced yet and accept it. We might feel shame about it, we don't want to look at it, we don't want to tell anybody else about it, and that's the reason it's important to embrace and love our shadows is we are compelled to meet them again and again until we do, that's the first thing. And the second thing is to be in a state of enlightenment, for me, one of the aspects of that is to be totally without judgment. This does not mean to be without discernment. <laughs> discernment and judgment are two different things. For me, judgment is when I separate myself from something or someone because I've made a clear decision in my head about it without really experiencing it myself or knowing it or embracing that part of it in myself, which I don't want to look at. So um, I did a lot of shadow work in Germany. So we went through meditations where we would go into a cavern in ourselves, uh, a cavern, and there would be shadows hiding there or, or aspects of ourselves hiding there that we didn't really ever want to look at or admit to or talk to anybody about. And so one by one we would look at this particular shadow and name it and embrace it and slowly walk it out into the light. And once that shadow, part of ourselves, which we had before felt shame about or never wanted to reveal to anybody was out, then we were free to choose or not choose to act upon it until we are, are until we embrace all the things in us. Uh, there's no like full unity within ourselves, like this mind body unity, uh, light, dark, unity, whatever you want to call it, we're not totally unified in our own spirit because we're hiding, there's a lot of things hiding in there. And um, yeah, also to be, to be without um, judgment, uh, usually the things we judge come into our lives anyway, one way or another, because they want us to free ourselves of it so that we're free. It's like a state of total freedom. And also, as far as experiencing pure love, true love, from anybody, whether no matter who it is, there's a, if, you, if there are things in us which we feel like we can't, um, like if I tell that person they won't love me anymore, then those are shadows that if we embrace uh, and love within ourselves, then we can share them with others who we want to have a close relationship with and then feel free. So Thank you. Thank you, Rose. I'm sorry to cut you in. Oh, did, was I talking to, what, was it not the Jag subject? Or what? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. No, Jaguar, Jaguar is ready. So oh, okay. Well, okay, thank you. I'm sure, thank you. Well, I'm sure he would have told me that, too. <laughs> yes. Okay. Beautifully said, Ruth. Thank you. Really yes. So, Jack, you. where? Yes. Um, I am not one that prefers to speak over others, so. Yeah, I noticed that. Hi, Jaguar. I like to hold space for others to express themselves. Hello, Noha. Welcome. Again, I wish to remind all of a brief in small technical detail, if you are not speaking at a given moment, please mute your mic so that there is no interference, no feedbacks, so we can assure the highest quality of experience for all. That said, I wish to start by greeting all 
with much love and much light. For my name is Aha Kitini, and it is a very high honor to be in your presence. And it is a very special moment for the channel. And I wish to express to all that sometimes beginnings bring forth challenges. In this case, today, we are slightly off schedule, so to speak. There were some technical difficulties. And as I expressed in the organizational meeting through this channel, difficulties and challenges are to be expected whenever the system grows in complexity. In this case, whenever you have an ever-growing number of people, which is very positive, complexity comes with that. And it is challenging sometimes for the human experience to deal with complexity. However, within any challenge lies a possibility of its opposite, in a sense. In this case, on the other side of complexity lies the possibility of encountering simplicity. And I wish to invite you all to be aware that on the other side of whatever may be challenging for you at this time, lies the possibility of great growth, great expansion, if you are able to, let's say, stick with it, be persistent in your awareness. And if you do so, you will find great growth. Now, I wish to begin to invite first interactions and first questions. For that purpose, I am aware that we have the role of host or facilitator given to Caitlin. Am I correct? Sorry, I, I can't really, I heard my name, but I can't really hear you, what it, you're saying exactly. Okay, thank you for that feedback. I apologize, I should, should have checked if the technical conditions were already. It is, it is okay, but wuha, wuha, aha. Wuha. Thank you for yeah. coming. Thank yes, so I will try and improve the audio. Mm -hmm. One moment, please. Okay, thank you very much. Again, this is an audio test. Are you able to hear me? Better now, Caitlin. Much better now. Um, Sorry, I'm, I'm back. Um, what were you saying? I heard my name again. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I got distracted by somebody. There's a lot of yelling here. Um, but it, it sounds better. I heard your voice. It sounds way better. Yes, it's better now. Mm -hmm. Is that okay. correct? Yes. Very good. Very good. We may proceed. Could you please give me feedback to what you last heard or what ideas came through in my introduction? What ideas came through? 
Yes, if you what you were able to listen to, since the audio quality was not at its best. Uh, what I heard was it was a high honor to be here, and. I don't know. I, I didn't really hear it, and then I got distracted with people in the background, but I would like to invite others who heard what he was saying. He asked you if you could um, help in the order of who is going to ask the question. Oh, <laughs> who's going to ask questions? Be because you are the host. <laughs> okay. Well... I think, I feel that uh, Gabriel, you'd be good at asking, I would give you the opportunity to ask questions first. Caitlin, I sense, I sense that you're somewhat less comfortable with the role of Post in the idea of asking questions. Am I understanding you correctly? I don't know. I'm just. I'm really uncomfortable right now. Yes, I can <laughs> feel you, and that's the idea to which I am responding at this time. So I do not wish to have some role or whatever aspect of a given role to cause discomfort or to yes. cause whatever vibration you're, you're not wishing at the, at the moment. And that is what I am sensing and, and I wish for you to be at your best, at your most comfortable, if you would like. So if you wish, I am totally open for you to, if you would like this, these words, relieve yourself of that role and invite whoever wishes to do so or none, no person. So I am also able to take on the role and that responsibility of managing uh, the questions. Also there's the possibility of you as a group managing yourself through the chat bar for example and uh, organizing yourself. So. I wish to open up these possibilities. And this in, in and of itself is a, a quite good and real time example of the challenges I was referring to in the beginning when the audio was not so clear. That complexity is challenging sometimes. And when a group grows and develops, is to be, it is to be expected that complexity may bring some opportunities for growth that can be experienced also as challenges. So I invite and open the possibility for anyone that wishes to take on that role to do so. If not, it is fine. We can proceed without that role. Um, OK, I, I, I guess I'll start. Um, we have received. Um, lately a lot of questions about um, UFO encounters and I was wondering if you could give us some um, I guess call, I guess guidelines in terms of emotionally how to deal with the encounters um, in order to to absorb what is happening and 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 to to deal with it in, in the, the best possible way. Yes, I understand very well. This seems to be a very common, let's say, or shared question within this group at this time. So I perceive it as useful for many and I choose to address it. I wish to also say that given the nature of this question, since it is quite open, 
there's a possibility for a more abstract response, a more open response. So if after my response, you wish, any of you wish to give a specific personal detail of your experience that wasn't responded to with the abstract response, or if you need that kind of example for you to better understand, you are welcome to do so. So, Sabrina, I wish to first, bef before proceeding to respond, to validate my understanding of your question. How to best deal with the emotional impact of encounters? And I assume we are talking about encounters in a dream state. Am I correct in this assumption, or do you, you include any other ideas of states, such as awake states? You know, when I say awake, I'm speaking to the 3D experience. So, uh, in vigil, in awake states. Yeah, well, if, if you could address um, both, but, um, yeah, both stays because some, some people have enduring sleep and, and some actually have it uh, while they're awake. So yes. They're, okay, thank you. Yes, I understand. Uh, given including that idea, does my understanding of your question satisfy your requirements? Did I understand it correctly? Correct, yes. Thank you for that validation. So, the emotional impact of encounters in a sleep and also in an awake state. How to deal with that impact? Very good. One moment. For this response, I will include reference to a previous response I have given to Sabrina in one of the recordings. I wish to briefly remind you of the idea that fear is a type of emotional experience that is deeply tied with your body's biochemistry. In that response, previous response to Sabrina, I put forth this idea that fear is deeply connected with chemistry. It has a very important chemical aspect, if you would like, in other words. And also, from a psychological point of view, there are traumatic experiences hard experiences in your development, mostly in your childhood, but not exclusively. At any moment, you can have what can be termed as a traumatic experience. And this imprints in your psyche, this imprints in your physical body and also in the, the other vibrational aspects of your body. With this basic understanding, one can begin to understand and see that sometimes when one is not sure of what is happening, whatever may be, the experience, or whatever the experience may be, fear comes up frequently. Fear is a common response to the unknown. And in the context of encounters, this is a very common response to be fearful mostly in the beginning stages, for one is facing something that is unknown. 
And when I say unknown, I'm speaking to the mind, the 3D mind. And the 3D mind does not understand something. It tends to react to that which is triggering it, in a sense, with fear. As one furthers his or her experience in the context of contact, one begins to understand more and more, and this is not by any means restrictive to mental understanding. So there are many aspects of yourself that are beginning to understand as you step into your experience of, of contact and therefore as your understanding, as your knowing grows, your discomfort, emotional discomfort lessens. This is the first part to my response. Sabrina, am I making sense? Am I being clear so far? Yes. Thank you. I feel that I am not responding to some of you. Some of you are wishing a different style of response, let's say. Does anybody feel they would like to, let's say, root these somewhat abstract ideas with a more personal and specific experience within the context of the larger question, of course? So, emotional impact of contact and how to best deal with it. Um, if I may, I have a suggestion that's helped me quite a lot over the past few days. Um, when I first started to become more in contact with, um, I guess, entities that have been visiting me and uh, UFOs that I've seen while visiting parks during the day, um, the main one that, that got me was the, the, the fear of them. Um, once you once you recognize that they are you and you are them and that if you harm them then they're going to in turn give back what you give but if you if you show love even in your mind that you that you appreciate these for being there even if you haven't met one physically yet just be in your mind that they're they're not all going to hurt you they're there's some really nice guys out there as well. And that's, that's one of the main things I remember is that when you realize that there are nice people, there are bad people, it just, just your perception of them. So if you can change your perception of these unknown entities that you haven't been in contact with for very long, then there's a possibility that they, they may... Uh, appear to you in more enlightening circumstances instead of bringing up a, a hidden fear within you. Yes. Thank you very much for that comment, Dan. It was very useful. And you brought up other ideas I was wishing to express, and there is no coincidence in that. We are synchronizing as a group. One idea I wish to respond to that you brought forth is the idea of resonance. There are many teachers that speak about the nature of reality and how everything one sees and experiences from a human perspective is mirroring back to him or her his own vibration. So, in a sense, the world out there is a resonating mirror. 
it resonates and attunes itself to our inner frequency. This is a key idea to understand in general terms. So I wish for now to have a brief moment and let that idea sink in or circulate or whatever words help you grasp the notion of absorption, assimilation, and understanding. And I invite you to breathe deeply into the center of your body. Jaguar, before you proceed, please, uh, could you raise your vibration? You're very low today. What's, uh, what's happening to you? Where is low today? Thank you for that information, Noha. There are many things happening at the moment that are challenging for the conduit. Yet, I thank you for reflecting that idea back to him. Yeah, but I feel it's becoming better and better in this way. And thank you for coming and speaking to us. Thank you very much for coming. I really appreciate it. I love you deeply, Aha Kitini. Hakatini, I'm wondering about our other lifetimes and how to integrate them and not be afraid of our other lifetime. Do you have any tips on that? Yes. Yet, I had not finished to respond to the question Sabrina put forth and the exercise I was suggesting was put on hold temporarily by no house remark. So if you, you allow me, if I may, I would first prefer to finish my response. Is that yes. acceptable to you, Gabriel? Yes, it's okay. It's also okay if you don't respond to my question. I wish to do so, to respond to it, but to first finish my response to Sabrina's initial question. Is that acceptable? Yes, I don't want it to be any problem. So we can do that. Thank you. As you wish. Thank you. Returning to the exercise I was suggesting, this is a tool that if you wish to, you may use to practically deal with whatever emotional impact a given experience of contact has, both to remind yourself that from a mental standpoint, in an inner dialogue, let's say, so speaking to yourself, one aspect of yourself speaking to another or other aspects of yourself, reminding those aspects that whatever experience is arising at a given moment is nothing but the reflection of the vibration you are holding at that moment. 
So, in practical terms, if you are experiencing something emotionally difficult, heavy, or whatever adjective you prefer, to remind yourself that that is a reflection of yourself. That is a resonation of whatever is within you being reflected back to you from outside of you. And I wish to remind you that these terms, inside and outside, are for the human mind to comprehend. This idea of separation is valid within that point of view. Stepping further. There are many other techniques, and there are many other practices you may use to best deal with the emotional impact of a contact experience. To remind yourself that you are resonating is useful, is a possible option. Also to understand that whatever type of contact, whatever kind of entity, if you wish to see it that way, is contacting you at a given moment, it is precisely the example of what I said before. It is resonating with you. So if you have, let's, let's say, a scary entity, it is resonating to some part of you that is scary or scared. And this is nothing wrong or right. It just is the mechanics of your experience. So how do we cope with that? that uh -huh. I did not understand. Could you please repeat in a slower fashion? So how do we cope without a heart kidney? So how do we cope with it? How do we cope with that? Is yeah. my understanding correct? Yes. 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 I accept your question. However, I wish to honor the sequence in which the questions were presented. So if you please can understand. Gabriel had already asked the question before you. So if you do not mind, I wish to ask you to hold on that question so that I can first respond to those who have placed their questions before. Is that acceptable for you, Noah? Yes. Thank you. Gabriel, do you wish to ask your question again? Gabriel, are you listening? Yes, I have had my microphone muted. One yes. question I ask is how can we connect with our other lifetimes and not be afraid and uh, realize that it's part of us and continue um, with a positive effect of the other lifetimes we have. That's somewhat, it's not exactly the same way I asked the question. Yes, I'm having some trouble understanding the question. Could you please rephrase it in a shorter way? Do you have any tips on how we can uh, connect with our past lifetimes we have. Yes. Thank you for rephrasing that. A useful idea to achieve, achieve what you are asking is to understand that outside 3D understanding of time 
there is no, no such thing as past or future. So in a sense, this is a very common idea amongst you, everything is happening now. So in a sense, there is no such thing as past lives or future lives, they are all present lives. So, a tip, if you would like, on how to access that, and this idea has been quite elegantly expressed through the entity known as Kryon. There are many parallel experiences you are having at the time. So to just allow yourself the space within yourself and to watch your mind and let it, let's say, chat away and observe your thoughts without judgment, without resistance. And this creates the, the space within you to explore and to feel and to imagine. And when you explore, when you feel and you imagine, many times you are actually accessing those parallel lives. And when you do so, you, let's say, collect abilities, skills, capabilities from those parallel lives and are capable to integrate them into your current experience and that brings forth better ability to deal with whatever you are wishing to deal. A practical example, let's say you are wishing to become better at drawing, for example. Possibly there's a parallel life that is someone, an expression that is drawing very well. You can access that through that kind of practice. You can bring forth those abilities that your 3D mind, your concept of yourself, might even think that you do not possess at the time. You may have thoughts of, oh, I don't know how to draw. I won't even try because I think I don't, so I don't. I am speaking, of course, as the unconscious. And if you are able to hold your intention, you will go through that and you will start to access and experiment and allow yourself to express and see your skill growing, developing. Does that respond to your request, Gabriel? I have a sense that it does, but not completely. Am I correct? Gabriel, you're muted. Yeah, it was useful information for me. Yet I sense it's not a complete response to your requests. Am I correct? Do you wish for I some specific really, aspect? No, I don't wish. I was want to hear your version of it, and you shared some of your idea of it. Yes, thank you. I wish to express also at the time that today is for the conduit's experience a less than ideal situation. Therefore, the communication today is not at its best, let's say. So I wish to express this idea and apologize beforehand to all that are attending and all that will see this recording for there will be some there, there have been, and they, there might be some challenges in communication today. So if I don't respond to your requests as fully as you would wish me to do so, 
I apologize beforehand. Let's move forward. Noha, you had a question. Can you please repeat it again? Um, I said, how can we cope with the negative aspects, uh, what we are afraid of? Like, I, I'm always afraid of the repellent, you know? But they say it's an aspect of you, so how can I deal with it? Yes, very good. Thank you. That's a sort of very specific question, and it helps, and it's deeply connected to the abstract groundwork I laid before, let's say. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for being careful with your mic. It is very helpful. So, your reptilian aspect. I would say I do not, this is not my preferred style of communication, but again, I'm learning to be flexible with human communication. I sense that you are somewhat afraid of the idea of reptilians. So there's a concept that you are holding, the definition that you believe as true within yourself that, let's say, reptilians are bad. Oh, ooh, reptilians are bad, they're scary. I'm being figurative, of course. Do you resonate to these ideas, No. Yes, absolutely. Very good. Let's move forward, if you wish. So, you are holding this definition. A possible technique would be to, now that I have reflected that idea back to you, to observe that thought that definition, to examine it, to bring it to your conscious mind's awareness and to look at it simply. This is a practical example of what I had said before, of observing your own mind, your thoughts. It is a, an idea present in your meditation traditions to think of thoughts as clouds in the sky. What is the sky? The sky is the space within clouds exist. In the same way, your consciousness, which is the essence of what you are, it is all that is, it is isness, it is the one I am, is the space within which everything, and in this case, thoughts arise. So, you are able to identify more and more with the space within which thoughts arise and to see more and more thoughts as something that you can observe. Does this make sense, Noha? Do you follow so far this idea? Is it being helpful? Uh, not exactly. Can you uh, make it more simpler, please? Yes, I see. I understand. I will switch my style. If you're watching a movie, the movie is the movie you are the watcher. You are the observer. You can think, and I'm what I'm suggesting, su suggesting in other words, with the idea of clouds and the sky, the movie is your thoughts, and you are the watcher. As you begin to understand that your thoughts, in a sense, are just a movie, and that you are not the movie, you are the watcher, there's this space in be between the movie, the screen, let's say, and you, the watcher, and you begin to see more and more clearly your own thoughts, or what you think 
are your own thoughts, to be more exact. But this is another idea I do not wish to explore at the time. Was that more clear and more useful? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Aha, Kutini. Hello. One, one moment. I have not finished. I apologize. Please hold. So to connect the idea of watcher and movie, of sky and clouds, of thought and I am, of thought and consciousness, and the idea of reptilian definition as something negative, when you know how, wish to progress in your understanding of reptilians, which is a step forward in your own path of higher understanding or deeper understanding or whatever adjective understanding you wish to have, you may bring that you have, have explored today that reptilians are bad, or reptilians are negative, or rather all reptilians are bad, all reptilians are negative, therefore I have a resonating negative experience that validates and confirms the belief I hold as true by definition of reptilians. As you do this exercise of bringing it up into your awareness, let's say, or out of your unconscious and into your conscious, you will begin to see that it is not necessarily true and you will have the power, if you choose to do so, to reconstruct it, to redefine it, to examine other and to share with other people and you have that people around you right now that have had experience with reptilians that are very positive, some of them quite entertaining as happened yesterday in the webinar in Human Comments with COP, if I recall correctly. Can anyone confirm if I am recalling correctly? Uh, yes, aha, Kitini. Yes, thank you, Zinaida. So you may wish, you may do so if you wish, uh, Noha, to view the recording of yesterday, yesterday's webinar, I apologize. One moment. You may wish to do so. You may do so, if you wish to do so, and you will see a practical interaction in between humans and a reptilian that is very entertaining and very positive and light-hearted, let's say. Do you, does these, do, do these ideas help you, Noha? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Ahasikini. You are most welcome. It is a very high honor to be at your service at this time. Thank you. Ma Have I responded sufficiently to your question? Do you, f do you desire, do you wish for more? No, no, no. Okay. I'm fine with it and I'm uh, quite content. And I feel uh, my spirit is a bit higher now. Thank you very much. Very good. Thank you. I Thank can face my spirit now. Yes, it is your choice. You may do whatever you decide and you choose to do. The creator, you are the source. You are the master of your experience. You are the captain of your boat. You are the... host of your game show, if you would like. You, Thank you, and well appreciated. Uh, you, def you, you define the rules. You call the shots. Thank you. I can Thank you. I can give turns to the others now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I I believe it was Dan that was trying to express himself. Am I correct? Yes. Thank you, Arthur. You are most welcome, Dan. How may I assist you? On the concept of shadow work and. Uh, the fearful beliefs that we, we hold within ourselves. Um, yes. 
I was wondering uh, where I've been doing a lot of, well, started to do quite a bit of shadow work now. Um, I was wondering how would, how does one, well, after we've brought these, uh, these feelings to the surface, how would we accept them and allow them to be instead of going, oh, I don't like that feeling? Yes, thank you for your question. The ideas, and this is beautifully synchronistic, the ideas I have put forth before all intertwine and all connect amongst themselves and all help to build, let's say, a path of understanding. And your question is deeply connected to all that I have said before. So I would invite you to allow yourself some time and then to view this recording from its beginning and allow yourself to, let's say, play with the ideas I have put forth before. At the same time, I will try and respond in a more personalized manner, let's say, and give also more practical and specific techniques since I have already, in my point of view, in my, in my experience, in my perspective, give sufficient abstract and open-ended ideas. I wish first to remind the idea of observing your thoughts and your emotions. When I say thoughts, this is applicable to whatever aspect of your ex experience you may choose to focus on if you are choosing to do so, or to unfocus from specific aspects and bring forth a more open and complete awareness of your experience at any given moment. So, an example would be you could focus at one point in time to be more cognizant, to be more focused on your thoughts. In another moment, you could be more focused on your emotion. On another moment, you could be more focused on your physical experience if you're having some kind of ache, some kind of pain, or some kind of pleasure, some kind of good sensation. For example, you're walking barefoot on the grass, and you're feeling the grass beneath your feet. Or you're on the seashore, you're walking, you're feeling the wet sand beneath your feet, the breeze that is touching your skin. You may wish to focus on a more physical aspect, a more emotional aspect, more, let's say, mental or idea field aspect, or you may choose to unfocus from a specific aspect and have a more integrated, a more complete, a more, let's say, vast awareness of this present moment, or any present moment. This is a very simple, and may I had deceivingly simple idea and technique. You are able to progress and to master it, and as you do so, it will bring you many things that are not describable by words, and that they are, in a sense, most, if not everything, you are looking for, in a sense. They will bring you clarity. They will bring you peace. They will bring you understanding. They will bring you compassion. They will bring you many things. They will relieve you of confusion. They will relieve you of negative emotions. And then when I say relieve you, I do not say rid you of. They allow you to experience them more fully and to move through them more fully and to accept them. This is a very important idea, acceptance, to accept whatever is arising at the moment and not hold judgment and to fully accept it. And as you do, and you are fully able, fully capable, to do so, you will observe that it will become easier and easier, in a sense, to deal with it. Because you have moved 
beyond dealing with you have stepped forth in the next level let's say if you wish to see it linearly use the idea of a staircase you have stepped into another level another step and you are not dealing with because dealing with presupposes strain effort stress willfulness and you do not require these ideas if you do not wish to require them, they are very useful if you use if you choose to use them. When you move, you move to a stage of acceptance and allowing. And this is just repeating and reinforcing the ideas I have put forth before in my earlier transmissions. All you have to do, in a sense, when you wish to quote unquote work on whatever aspect you are wishing to work. There is no work required. There is only awareness required. There is only acceptance required. I sense I have moved in an abstract sense, in a way, and I wish to root these examples, these ideas with examples, if that is useful. Then, did I respond in a satisfying way? Do you wish to share more or to remind me of your original premise or is this sufficient for the moment? You, you summed up everything with extreme clarity and even some questions that I was proposing to ask, so thank you very much for that. Um, if, you, if you'd like to um, route them into a more 3D kind of way, then I'd welcome that as well because it may help myself and other people to progress along this path as well. Yes, thank you. I wish to express the idea of a sinus wave, or rather, not necessarily a sinus wave. I'm not sure if that is the correct term. One moment. Yes, the idea of mountains. Whenever you have a group of mountains, there is a peak and a valley. So I wish to bring this idea, for this is a format of communication I am preferring at the moment. So I wish to move up or down, whatever you prefer, into an abstract, open-ended type of communication. This is useful for some of you. And then to move up or down to the opposing point with practical and more concrete and more personal examples. Some of you respond better to this type of communication. So with this idea in mind, I invite all of you to assist and co-create with me whenever you feel like my response should move into one trajectory or the other. We have already been doing this in a sense, and I wish to express the, this idea for it is of use for future communications. This is a format I wish to experiment with, with this group at this time, and we will see the results. This is also an idea I wish to express. Whenever you have something you are wishing to do in your life, to experiment is a very useful idea, if you choose to use it. To have a preconceived idea, preconceived notion, but then to say, OK, this is my understanding of this at the time. Yet, I open myself to the possibility of it being confirmed or not confirmed through experimentation. And go out in the world, let's say, go out in your life and experiment and see what results you get with whatever you wish. Then judge, in a sense, the tree by its fruits not by its bark. So try whatever it is you are wishing to experiment with and hold your judgment off, in a sense, until you see the results. For if you... Life will probably surprise you and you will realize your preconceived ideas and your judgments were holding you back, let's say. Were your own stumbling blocks, if that is a correct idea. 
I have moved aside with this set of ideas and now I wish to move back to the idea of contact, emotions, fears, shadow work, for they are all connected. Then, you are suggesting a more practical example rooted on the ideas I have put forth in response to your question. Would you like to give a specific starting point for me to continue? Um, yeah, uh, freeing the self of fearful beliefs and how we can burn away pre-existing beliefs that haven't been so nice to us and building up our own beliefs on what we're gathering throughout our experience. Hmm. There are many ideas contained within your remark. One of them I wish to address is the idea of making limiting beliefs be nice to us. Was this what you suggested? Um, I meant this, it in a way of... I'm, I'm misunderstood. I apologize. Okay, I'll, I'll re-clarify it. It's okay. I'll shorten it down as well. Um, when, we, when we start to realize that we have a belief system that is a little bit fearful. Yes. How would we go about freeing ourselves to a certain extent of these beliefs? Yes. Thank you. I will repeat in a sense an idea that has been put forth the entity known as Bashar through the channel known as Daryl Anka for it is very popular let's say it is very widespread and it is probably already aware, uh, already, I apologize, one moment. It is already within your awareness or your memory, let's say, that is the idea of examining your beliefs. And a technique that has been suggested by this entity and channel is the idea of asking yourself, whenever you are in a situation you are feeling you are resisting you are holding a negative vibration and that you're having resonance from the world from your experience that is showing that you are holding that negative belief whenever you are in this kind of situation you are able to if you hold the space of awareness bringing back the idea I put forth before you are able to question yourself. You are able to ask yourself, what would I have to believe as true for this experience to be what it is at the time, what I am experiencing? So, a practical example. I am having an entity visit me. I am fearful, I realize, because I am able to hold space in my awareness at that time, that I am being fearful, I am holding that frequency of fear, and the entity I am, in a sense, attracting to me, is resonating with the fear I am emanating, so I am having this experience, and I have the space to ask myself, what would I have to hold as true for this experience to be what it is? A possible response would be, I believe that alien contact is a negative thing. In a more species-specific format could be, and I'm using now this example to address you specifically, Noha, I believe reptilians to be negative entities. So I believe contact with reptilian entities to be negative type of contact. And so on and so forth with whatever type or situation of contact that you are having. Another practical example. Let's say you're, and please take this as a humorous suggestion, you're in, sitting in the toilet and you're having contact experiences while you are sitting at the toilet. You are having a negative experience because you have the concept of being in the toilet is a negative thing or being contacted while I'm sitting at the toilet is a negative thing. 
So we are having a negative contact experience. Any other situation, you are shopping. Having contact while shopping is a negative thing. Shopping is negative. Or whatever negativity you are holding, your experience will reflect back to you. This Did this respond to your question then? Um, yeah, yeah. It, I think I lost lost track towards the end as it kind of went on a tangent a little bit. But yes, yes, I sensed that. That is why I was asking and wishing to recal recalibrate my response. I feel like I have not responded in full. Um, from what I gathered from it, from my understanding, was that the the acknowledgement of these fearful beliefs and knowing that they're around is one of the one of the first steps to actually finding out about these these uh, self-limiting beliefs anyway. So yes. as, you, as soon as you start to realize what, what situations get you into this fearful state or anxious state, you can then choose to either go along with that energy or work out another way. Am I, am I right in that understanding? Yes, you are correct. And there's a very subtle distinction I wish to make. That in the in a let's say beginning stage, if you wish to see things in a sequence of steps and the, and to believe there is necessarily a progression, this may or not be it may or not may be true for your experience. You may have a situation in the beginning, let's say in the beginning stage, that you are fearful in a contact situation. And yet your awareness is only of that fear. You are, let's say, frozen by the fear. You don't even, you are not even able to, let's say, be aware that you are causing your own fear, in a sense. In a uh, later stage, you are able to hold the space and to observe your fear and to see and to feel it arise within you and say, ah, I am feeling fearful and resist it. That will cause an effect. Then in a later stage you may have an experience where you are already becoming aware, oh, fear is arising and you accept your fear. You breathe through it, let's say. You hold it as a part of yourself and space within the fear opens up and then you are able, okay, what do I have to hold as true in this situation to have this experience? What is the definition, the concept I'm holding as true? And then you're able to bring to your awareness parts of your belief systems or beliefs that are disempowering, that are negative, and then you are able to examine them. This is a linear, step-by-step, stage-by-stage understanding of how to connect the ideas I have put forth before. Then, yes, you were correct in your understanding. I feel you wish to express another idea. Am I correct? Um, yeah. No. Thank you for thank you for going through that. That was that was brilliant. Um, along the lines of contact between beings, when we are starting to get over this fear of of a negative contact and we're starting to accept these beings for aspects of ourselves and as reflections of ourselves. Um, when we're not, not um, opening up a direct channel to the being, but more of a empathic and tele telekinetic communication between beings, how would we uh, allow ourselves to become no, um, not knowing of this, but allow ourselves to feel the the energy that the, the other being is giving up. How are we able to allow us to feel the energy they are uh, giving up? Is... Uh, when no, when we're attempting to open a communication between ourselves okay. and another being, mm -hmm. how would we let go of our kind of our physical feelings and then be able to feel? what they are saying to us. Very well. 
I understand. The first part of your question has an assumption behind it that I wish to examine. Yeah, I noticed that as well. Yes, did you notice? That's perfect. Uh, I, I, wish, I wish to suggest for me to hold off from speaking, to refrain, to refrain from, from speaking and allow the space for you to do what you are already doing in this moment, for you are applying the techniques I have put forth, and that is very positive. Do you wish to do so? Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind. Um, very well. Let's yeah. hold one moment for you to move through what you are moving at the time. I think that my assumption is that the beings are going to communicate with me using words and energies that I'm familiar with in this current experience. Yes. How, uh, yeah, what uh, tools or any kind of, uh, yeah, what tools would be useful for allowing me to get past this assumption and just being. I'm responding to you without words. If you wish to do, to receive the information I'm trying to transmit, there is, in a sense, nothing to say nor nothing to think about. Do you wish to receive the information? I do, yes. Then I invite you to, to just hold and breathe and allow yourself to perceive whatever you are choosing to perceive in this moment of your time. To just be in your body, in your heart, in your experience right now. Okay, I think I got it. Does that respond to your question? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for Thank you very much. You, ha you have had the courage to step forth, pick up the tools I have been laying out so far, let's say, and applying them. That is a very honorable thing to do, and it is a very positive thing to do. For yourself and others, it is a very courageous thing to do. So I wish to congratulate you. Do you have any, do you have any further questions? Uh, I feel I should move the conversation towards others. Yeah, I don't want to take any more space. Um, I have one one last thing is. Um, I'm trying to consciously um, understand the energies. I think that is my biggest battle with the acceptance of just allowing the energy to come through in whatever way possible. And I think my, my biggest task that I'm currently going through is allowing my mind to just operate instead of trying to work everything out while it's happening. Yes. yes. That's a perfect example of what I expressed before with the idea of watching your thoughts as clouds or as a movie and holding space within yourself and not attaching yourself to the thoughts or the ideas and just allowing them to flow without resistance, without judgment, without attachment or rejection. That's a perfect example of the abstract idea in your experience, in your direct, practical, day-to-day, -day, mundane life. You already have the understanding and the knowledge you say, in a sense, through words that you are seeking. It's already there. Within the question, or I would say, rather, behind the question, 
lies, lies already the answer. I am just a reflection to help you come to that understanding that already lies within you. Yes, thank you very much, Aha. You are most welcome. It is a very high honor to be of service. I now okay. pass the mic. Yes, thank you. May I ask a question? Of course, Sabrina. Um, I just want to make sure that you're okay and the Jaguar it's okay to continue. Thank you for it is highly intuitive of you to be aware that there are things the conduit needs to deal at the moment. So I wish to honor your intention with an action. I would require or I would request for a three minute break if that is acceptable to all. Is that acceptable to all? Please express yourself through the chat bar and allow Sabrina or someone else to check. Of course. Yes. Of course, Jaguar and Aha Katini. Yes, Jaguar and Katini. Yes, Aha Katini. Yes, Jaguar. Um, there is there is consensus, Arena. Yes. Is there? Thank yes. you. Thank you. So I wish to break for three minutes and. If anyone wishes to break also or to remain, you are welcome to do whatever you choose to do. One moment and I will see you right now. <laughs> okay, take your time. One moment. Okay. Yeah, what I feel that we it's hard if it's get hard if we interrupt him so he, we ha, we must create it most simpler for him so he will ask us if we want to ask a question yeah what i think so far you guys we, feel up? yeah no, i think that far we be going well um so we have to come up with idea how we structure this so he doesn't have to Gabriel, you can ask him that when he gets back, you see? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, and I, I think for the most part that's how he likes it and, and everybody has been allowing others to take turns. So so I don't think there's there's been a problem today. No. Um, so, but we just um, have to stay mindful of Jaguar. Yeah. And perhaps ready. maybe we could, while he's away, um, if I guess if it's okay with Jaguar, I send him some energy to yeah, help. That's what him. Um, so maybe we can all take this time to. Send him energy. Yes, to send him energy. In whatever way he can use it. Whatever's best for him. Sabrina? Yes? That's why I am so quiet. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Which, which person has I mean, not asked ask a question? Right now. Um, Ruth hasn't asked a question. Um, Sanaida hasn't asked a question either. Uh -huh. uh, you, you haven't asked, or did you ask a question? No, and but I do have a question from a viewer. So, um, so I want to see if maybe if if maybe he can answer it. I'm not sure. So, um, I'll. I won't ask a question today for myself. I think I'll just so, so that will allow Jaguar to finish sooner if he wishes to do so. 
I also have no question, so it's okay. If somebody else needs to come in, although we're not quite yet ten people, are we ten? One, two, three, four, five, or nine. If someone else wants to come in, I can leave. It's all it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired too. I think I need to eat something. I haven't eaten anything today yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I already did that. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm. So, in the meantime, uh, let's see. Let's let's send oh. him some. Okay. Go ahead. No, I just thought of a question I might ask him if this time. That's okay. all. At first, I said I don't have any, and then one popped up. Hi, Ellie. Yeah. Hello, guys. It's very serious and quiet today, anyway. Quiet. No, I think everybody's, <laughs> behaving. everybody's behaving because they're, they, you know. Yeah, and so who is the next one to ask a question? And who's the after that and after that? Uh, oh, you know so what, can Gabrielle? we clear that out before? Gabrielle, if I can ask first and then I'll leave because I, I need to go. Would that be okay? It's a short yeah. question. Yeah. No, go ahead, Ruth. So you'll Thank be you. next. And Thank you. Thank you very much. And then Sinaida. Oh. Sinaida, do you have a question? Yes, I do. Okay. All right, then you're after Ruth. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ellie? I would ask something. Why not? Okay. So, so after Sinaida, you you could go. Is that okay? Super. Okay. Welcome back, Jaguar. Jaguar, Hello. okay now? Hello. Are you guys ready? Yes. Ready, yes. You have a suggestion before you go on. If you need to ask to ask questions, you can propose the question to us. Okay. Oh, very interesting. So, if you I understand correctly, yeah, you can I'm sense sorry. it when you want to ask. You can sense it, right? Yes, I can ask. You're asking if if Aha Kitini wants to ask you questions. Is that it? Yes, yes, yes. Very. I would turn to talk to you. You know what I mean. No, I didn't understand. Uh, I'm Can sorry. Can you give us the turn to talk to you? You give us the turn to ask you questions. To ask okay. me as uh, Jaguar 3D, is that it? As as a Hakitini, as Jaguar, as you like. Yes. Um, yes, I think questions are a part of. I don't know if I'm understanding correctly. Yeah. If there's, you're asking if there's is going to be more opportunities for you to ask questions. Is that it? Actually, you can feel and sense that we have questions to ask you. So you uh, give us the chance to talk to you. No, yes. instead, of, instead, of, instead of interrupting you. Yes, of course. Um, you're you're welcome to to ask questions at any time. The issue of, of having a, a, a sequence of, of, of uh, thoughts process, let's say, is because of, of uh, efficiency and effectiveness. You know, it's more effective if we keep on topic and step by step than if we jump around, so to speak. But we could experiment, and and uh, I think there's openness to experiment with different different formats. So. We could have a more, let's say, freestyle part at the end, if you would like. Is, is, would that be preferable to you? It seem, uh, seems I'm misunderstanding. I apologize. Everything is OK. Everything is in balance. Maybe we should start. OK. So um, Sabrina, I believe your uh, managing the questions is that correct? Yeah. So, so Ruth is going to ask a question now. Okay. Okay. Anita and then Ellie. Okay. Um, I see Dan also has a suggestion. Do you want to speak, Dan? 
yeah, before before going into any questioning and stuff, um, uh -huh. I've noticed that a lot of a lot of people have been dropping in energy, and mm -hmm. what, the way I feel that it, it's happening is because we're focusing too much on other aspects of self now, and not bringing our physical um, experience to the point that we are caring for it as much as maybe focusing on other aspects of ourself. Mm, that's very interesting. So you're talking about the importance of being in the body, in a sense, being aware of other frequencies, but also being in the body. Am I understanding yeah. correctly, then? Yeah. Um, uh -huh. it's, all, it's all well and good trying to attain more spiritual ideas, but mm -hmm. if we fail to bring our physical self into the equation, we're just going to leave one aspect of ourself kind of uh, below everything else. Yeah, lagging behind, so to speak. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very wise then, and that's, I think, very aligned with uh, one key aspect of AHA's message, with it, which is the importance of being in the body, precisely, of being able to expand more and more in these energies and in understanding of higher dimensions and frequencies. Uh, I'm not very fond of the word higher, I would say then other energies and frequencies. Um, yet at the same time, not yet, while at the same time holding them in the here and now in the body and being able to be present and not get, so to speak, lost in those aspects that are higher frequencies or whatever we wish, wish to deem or conceptualize them as. So thank you for that idea. It's very useful. Okay. Uh, can we move forward, Sabrina? Yes, we may. Okay. One moment. I'm back. I believe it is Ruth or Safira, if you prefer, that is holding a question. Am I, I like it. Thank you. Hello, Arat Kimi. Hello. <laughs> nice Did to you? talk to you. I think this is the first time we are speaking. Yes, in this format, at least. Yes, <laughs> you are yes. correct. <laughs> um, I have been told by different mediums and other sources that I have a massive amount of knowledge. I was recently told that I have downloads I haven't opened yet, and they mm -hmm. will open at the right time. So mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, if you could possibly tell me the the nature of the downloads and uh, I mean I've been told they'll open at the right time I'm wondering if I block them also for any reason or it's just not time for them yet yes there are many questions within your question I will try and address <laughs> each, each one I do not need I do not require at the time for you to uh, reformat it please Tell me when I finish if I have answered completely to all of them. The Thank first, you. if I understand, you are most welcome. The first, if I understand correctly, has to do with your question if you have the downloads or not, if you feel sure that you have them or if that's just an idea somebody else gave you and you're questioning and doubting yourself in a sense. I may respond to that by simply saying, yes, you do have that. For that matter, all of you here and that are seeing and will see this recording have that. For that matter, every human being has that. For that is a set of potentials that is ever growing, ever expanding as you allow it to be. It is reflecting to you your ability to let go of your limiting aspects of your self-limiting aspects of yourself rather and as you do so, as you free yourself, as you allow yourself to free yourself in a sense, the downloads open up, the downloads express themselves, the down more downloads arrive if you wish to see it that way. Mm -hmm. So again, yes, you do have those downloads. On the second part of your question, what is the nature of those downloads? I am not at will to respond. I apologize. For that is your own discovering. 
or your own discovery to do. And yes, I can sense your mind questioning about it. There are other entities that are more at will than myself to answer that. Or those entities are closer to you if you wish to use the new perception to do so. And I will leave it at that. For you have understood what I meant in frequency behind the words. On the third part of your question, are you holding yourself from them? It is the way I pref prefer to reformat your question. You were talking about blocks. The idea of blocks is mostly the idea of holding yourself back. I have expressed this idea through this conduit in other formats of communication, namely another informal hangout with Brian, if I recall correctly, the idea of letting yourself forward, reversing many of your common everyday expressions is very powerful if you bring your awareness. So simply using the idea, holding yourself back, and you reverse it, you have the idea of letting yourself forward. Does that make sense? And most of all, do you resonate to that, Ruth? Uh, thank you very much. I couldn't understand letting yourself forward. I couldn't understand that last word. Letting yourself forward is the opposite of holding yourself, yourself back. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> okay, I understand. Thank you very much. If you yes. take the idea of holding yourself back, I am holding myself back. He is holding himself back. She is holding herself back. And you take that idea and you reverse it. You have then, I let myself forward. He is letting himself forward. She is letting herself forward. Yes, that's a nice way to put it. I like that. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are you. most uh, welcome. Uh, it is, it I is have one. A pleasure. Thank you so much. I, may I ask one last question? Um, yes. Thank you. First, uh -huh. I wish to I wish to ask you if I responded fully to your the all the aspects of your question. You all did. The parts. You thank did. You. Thank you. I thank you. You may proceed. I thank right. you. Thank uh, you. Do you know um, Do you know a Liran whose name is Muran M U R A N? Muran. Yeah. M U R A N. Muran. I believe that's the spelling. I'm not sure. It sounds like it's Muran. One moment. Thank you. Muran is the correct pronunciation. Muran. Muran. Okay. Do you, yes. do you know? Yes, yes, I am aware. Okay. I, I think he's my Liren guide. I, that was the name I was given. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Yes, that information is correct. <laughs> so I can talk with him and he can come and visit me. I wonder, I wish I could remember, I wish you and he can come in my dreams and just just have a conversation that I can remember. <laughs> well, why can't I remember? You have just answered your own question. <laughs> I do. I, <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> How? Why can't you remember? I don't know. I don't want to. Because you choose to believe that you are not able to. Because um. in a sense, yes, you do not want to. Part of you does not want to because part of you does not believe that is possible or that is desirable or that, or that is something you are fully, fully wishing to happen. There is, let's say, and this is an idea I wish to express to all because it's universal in a sense. Because there's incoherence within you. Because there's, there isn't a sufficient degree of certainty within you. You're, in other words, not sure enough that is something you wish. There is doubt, in other words. Mm. Does that resonate? It sounds like it is resonating with it, you. 
I, I, it might. I don't. I wish the doubt to be gone. So doubt be gone. If I just say doubt be gone, I hope it's gone. Yeah. If you just say something, and you do not feel the truth within your words, you're again reinforcing the idea of incoherence within you. I do not say this to, let's say, single you out or cause any kind of discomfort. I am trying to invite you to step into the possibility of moving forward. If you wish to let yourself forward, do you wish to let yourself forward now, Ruth? Yes. Yes, so let's do it together. I am here at your service with all of my heart, with all of my being, if you wish to do so, let's walk together, figuratively speaking. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are most welcome. I am finished with my questions. Yes, you are finished with your questions, yet you're not finished with what needs to be done at this time if you really mean what you just said. So I wish to invite you to just allow yourself to be present now. If it's okay with everyone else, because I yes. said I would just ask a yeah. short question. <laughs> yes, it is okay, and there's no need for you to be holding yourself back with the idea of what others might think or feel or experience, for you're bringing whatever that is into existence. Okay. There's only the need, only the need to, if you wish to, really step forward, just allow yourself. Yes. Yes? Yes. So I, may I suggest something? Yes. Just breathe. Do you, do you wish, wish to just breathe now? Uh, do I wish to breathe? Yes, just breathe. Okay. Hmm. I sense there's a part of you who wishes to express itself through the Lyran language. Am I sensing that correctly? Yes. Do you wish to speak? Do you wish me to begin? I will begin. Very well. So I take that as you are wishing me to begin. <laughs> Miha Hinakatala Kito Huma Woho Kotuas Nikia Hotu Kotushu Kotu Nakaha Hina Hina Shakina Hina Halama Hina Halama yeah <laughs> Very well. Thank you. Thank you. Can you tell me what? Can you tell me any, what I said? Was it pure yes. Or? yes, I can. Yet I am not at will. Okay. I apologize. No, that's fine. Was it was it really Liren though? What partly, I was speaking? Partly, yes, there were some let's <laughs> say specificities or characteristics or attributes to your mm. language that are 
what they are. I do not, not wish to say anything further. For okay. if you, I understand the need for your 3D mind to understand what is going on in a sense, and I invite you to view um, a similar experience that happened to Sabrina and that it is recorded, if I am correctly recalling the first channeling I have gone through uh. human colonies. And if you wish to do so, you may refer to that, for you will find resonance. And if you need to further your allowing yourself, let's say, you may talk to her in private, for she may be of support, for Thank she you. has gone through something very similar. You are most welcome. It Thank is you. a honor and a privilege to be working with you at this time in this manner. And I congratulate you. And congratulate you. you also for the movement you have let yourself to happen within yourself. Thank you very much. You Many blessings. Yeah, Many I'm blessings finished. Thank you. to you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Yeah. Um, this is Sabrina. Yes, Sabrina. Thank you for moderating. Uh, you're most welcome. I have um, a question from a viewer uh, member. Um, I don't know if you can answer it, but um, I told them I would put it in front of you to see if yes. you were able to. Yes. Thank um, you for honoring. Thank you for honoring your commitment to that entity. Before we move forward, I wish to know how many questions are in queue, so to speak, at this time. Is that possible? Is that acceptable, Sabrina? Are you yes. aware of that? Yes, it's only one question, because the other ones, um, I don't know, they're personal, so I don't know if you would be able to answer it that way, or if you prefer to have them in the webinar. Yes, uh, I have no restrictions. Okay. Outside, outside of my jurisdictional, and let's okay. say, role restrictions. If those people aren't restricted in their privacy and their preferences of privacy, of privacy, let's say. So, if you wish to let forward the question from the viewer, then we can move to those specific personal questions. Okay, there are four questions that he sent. His name is Tyler Webb and he lives in Houston, Texas. Yes, I am aware. Okay. Thank um, you. The first questions, I had multiple close aerial sightings, one of them in broad daylight. What race of beings were these? <coughs> that is his I first question. Yes, I am not at will to respond to that specific question. I refer him, I prefer to refer him to Brookfield near entities for they are better suited to respond to that question. Can we okay. please move to the next one, Sabrina? Yes. I've been visited in dream state and levitated off my bed. I would like to know any insights available. Again, this is a very broad open-ended question. I wish to honor it by inviting Tyler to be present at one of these webinars if he's able to, if he's not able to, to remind someone of those questions so that I may address them at a future opportunity. It is not, it is not correct for me to expand on that question okay. the time it would require to be appropriately honored. So I apologize and I gracefully decline to respond to that question at this time. Yes, that is fine, and, and that's what I thought, but I felt I should bring it in front of you. Yes, you are correct. You are, let's say, taking on the mantle that you have, you have chosen to do so, and you are being responsible and correct in an honorable conduct, showing um, or demonstrating very honorable conduct. So I Thank congratulate you. you for that. Um, question number three. I have channeled a blue female being in uh, dream state recently. 
I would like any insight available. Yes. And, um, okay. Yes, please finish. I apologize. I interrupted you. And the last question is, who is Trakeon? T-R-A-K-E-O-N. First, on the topic of his contact. Again, with all that has been said before, due to restrictions of time and diplomatic relations, I wish to express merely the insight that, yes, I can confirm that experience to be true. And I refer him to Group near entities and to be present at one webinar if he chooses to do so for further explanation. If he does not obtain that through the channels I have me if he chooses to do so in a webinar, I invite him to be present. It would be a very high honor to have him among the group. Yes. And the final question was a specific word? Yes, it's... You have spelled it. Yes, Trakeon, T-R-A-K-E-O-N. Trakeon, not Takion, correct? It has yes. an R. Tra Trakeon. I am not at will to respond to that. I refer him again to Group I apologize, Tyler, but I wish to express that I am not responding to due to restrictions that I mu must abide by given my responsibilities, my role, and my sense of appropriateness, if you will. So I, I apologize. I apologize if that brings about any negative feeling within you. It is not my intent. There is someone else trying to speak. Yes, uh, Jack. Uh, actually, this uh, is Noha, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Uh, actually, I have a personal question. A question. Once um, I sense, uh, I have a, 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 an empathic uh, ability, I suppose, and I sense someone was sending a negative energy, and then all of a sudden, um, a energy board opened up in front of me, and I could see it with my visual eyes. And I saw the person actually sending negative energy. I want to know was that connected with my higher self connection? It opened up. Very um, interfering. Can I'm not, I'm yes. you have uh, the mic set close to me? Neither your your mic is open. Yes. See? Thank you. you understand. Can you please repeat? I did not uh, hear fully. I heard up to the point of an energy board. So an energy, what, I, yeah, what energy. I visualized was uh, some kind of, let's say, etheric laptop or com command console. Am I visualizing correctly your idea? Command visual? I didn't get that. Actually, uh, like, a a la like a laptop. Yeah, it opened up a vision board. It's called an energy board. It opens yes. up in front of me, and I've seen the person that was sending the negative energy, and yes. I cut it at that point. So I wanted to know if that was a connection through my higher self, and it only happened once. I couldn't make it again. I couldn't do it again. I wanted to be uh, connected to this, if it's the higher self, the entity, or I don't know how to do it again. You know, it just happened once, and that's it. So how is that? So how is that what you are asking how, if that experience? If that how, was yeah, how, was, how did it happen? How vision board or energy board opened up and this? How was it? Is is it through the higher self or how did it happen? How did it happen? One moment, please. I sense. I am disrespecting the sequence of queue of questions. I ask of you, Noha, to please hold for one moment. Sabrina, are you listening? Yes, I'm here. 
Sabrina, after Tyler, was there anyone else waiting in queue, or was Noha the person waiting in queue for a question to be placed? Now, there have been Ellie, but she stepped away. Yes. Um, and was, I wanted... was there anybody else? I apologize, I interrupted you. It's okay. Um, I, I wanted to ask a personal question, but I, I can wait after she's done. So there was no one else in queue after Tyler, is this correct? Correct. Very good. Back to Noha. Noha, I apologize, but I sense there was a disturbance. Uh, I sense somebody else had the expectation of being responded to, of being honored, so to speak, before you asked your question. So back to you. How did that energy board come to your awareness. Is this a correct understanding of your question? Yeah, you're right. How this, did this happen? The how is a very... common, let's say, question. Common in a sense of frequent. No negative connotation here. It is very common to ask how did something happen? as is why this did something happen. I understand your need for practical, specific, personal, personal and relatable answers. So I'll begin at that. Although I wish for you to, or I would, in, would like to invite you to understand that there are many other aspects behind the how and the why, that in my perspective at least, are quite valuable and interesting if you open yourself to them. At the time, let's address the how. How did that happen? You made it happen. Does that respond in a sufficient way? Actually, I can make it in again. I want to make it again, and it's not happening, you know? There you go. You can make it happen again, and you're aware that you are able to yet you try to, and it does not happen, correct? Exactly. So, you are wondering, why is that, I sense? Am I sensing correctly? Yes. Why does that happen? Again, this is an idea I have expressed before during this webinar and this transmission. The idea here that, in my perspective, is useful to hold to understand the why you are asking about is because you're holding yourself back. You're not the why. You, you are the why. You're holding yourself back. An aspect of you is wishing it to happen. Another aspect of you is wishing it not to happen. It is connecting back to the beginning, and this is beautifully circular. Let's say we are now, now approaching the closing of the circle of today's webinar, we return to the beginning. Mm -hmm. You are Holding. addressing something that was, or you are asking something that was addressed in the beginning. You are holding yourself back. You are not allowing yourself. You are doubting yourself. You are holding within yourself beliefs that do not empower you. Beliefs that disempower you. Beliefs that bring within you questioning, doubts. Am I really able to? I know I'm able to, yet. Is this good? Is this bad? Will something bad happen to me? Do you relate to any of these ideas I have expressed now? Do yeah, they re resonate to you? A sense that you have to embrace it in order, yes. To, yes. In order to grasp the idea. You, yes, but, perfect. But, yeah, but I sense the person and I, I see, I've seen him. You yes. know? Yeah, and the one who is sending the negative uh, energy, I've seen him. I knew it was him and then I saw him through the board. Yes. Actually, uh, I was listening to grandmother once. Uh, she's a shamanic uh, uh, lady. And uh, she was talking about this energy board, and all of a sudden, it just popped up, you know, in front of me, you know. So, so I just want to share it. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. 
are you satisfied with my response? Did you get what you yeah. wanted, so to speak? You saying embrace it. That's it. Embrace your fears. Embrace uh, anything. Just like channeling. I want to channel, but I'm holding myself back. I think I have to let go. Yes. I am not saying embrace it. You are saying embrace it. And as you can see, I was merely a mirror for you to get to access within you what you already had before you placed the questions. So I wish to express that through this experience, and I invite you to see this recording and hear yourself speaking and see this interaction again from a point of view one of, of an observer. So you will see yourself speaking and you will see clearer and clearer that it was you that answered your own question. I just provided a reflection, a space for you to, let's say, bounce your question to and the question bounced back and allowed you to find the answer that was already within you. So in a sense you did not truly need to ask me you only needed someone to support you to search within yourself for the answer that was already there. Does this resonate with you? It does, and thank you very much, Aha. Uh -huh. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. It is a very high honor to be One more question, please. in uh, your do you presence and do you send of assistance. What? Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, one more question. Do you sense if I can, if, if I have the ability to do the galactic language now or not yet? What do I sense? If yeah. I sense you are able to do that now or not? Yeah. The answer would be yes and no. What do you prefer? No, actually I sensed you when you were talking to Safira. I told her you can do it. So she went along with you. And you, oh, and you resonated to that. And you okay. understood that that idea applies to you. That process is universal in a sense. Yes? Perhaps, yes, perhaps. Maybe she's ready. I'm not perhaps, uh, you know, you can sense the turns, you know? Only you can answer that. For it is you that is holding yourself back. Again. Again. And this, is, this isn't in any kind and any shape to be construed as judgment. I'm merely, again, reflecting back to you your own frequency. You are, in a sense, one step back, one jump, one step forward, one jump back. Mm -hmm. You're vibrating in acceptance in one moment, and then you're jumping back, vibrating in fear, in doubt. Do you understand? Absolutely. Very well. Did this satisfy your question? It does. Thank you very much and thank you everybody. Do you resonate fully to my response? 100%. Thank you. It is a very high honor to have you at this moment, at this form of communication, to have you move Much in love. your own process. Much love and light Much for you. Love. Thank also. you very much. I love you. Thank you. I love you also. I sense there are other questions beyond yours, which is up now, Sabrina. Um, I first want to make sure that we're not taxing you or Jaguar. Yes, we are. And to be fully honest, we have passed the threshold that is healthy for the conduit. However, this is the first, and I will do, let's say, a first webinar special. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I will allow for this boundary to be broken for this time. It will, okay. not, it will not be so in future webinars. Thank you okay. for being so attuned and I invite you, if you are present, in future opportunities to assist this conduit to be more aware of his own boundaries. Or this is something that he is learning and that you may reflect back to him in a useful way. 
how to be more aware. ドロコココトアカヒアタタンタ。えてほしこと。Kushokwa Shatuka a hatu wa a kusku a hata yo ha ha. Me, me, ta hatiaka na tu ro hati. Tiana hatua haka. A hakti. Shuati ki wahana hati shua. Me, kwa ha tu shu kundu hu. しわ、しめきでしわな。ね、ディアナハ。ハトホコ、ホトンドゴトマハカ。ね、しやなことしわ、しがなでしょ。ね。ね、ハトホシナガラ。ちょっと少しね、こう、はし、はし。ね、ティアカハ。うん。としおとほこんどこぼはか。いし、かかた。我是我那个是我说的啊你是想我是的话想我是感动是你 Nyahaka Oho Koto Kotunbo Kishi Ni Ki Aha Kuataha Nashito Shuashinaha Puashana Hashito Hashi One moment. Thank you. You are most welcome. Apologize. I was interrupted in 3D. Dan, you were expressing yourself. Do you wish to do so again? Um, I've I found that I vary between different frequencies, and I find it quite quite difficult to stay in that level. Um, mainly around the languages, I I found that I can I can almost 
instantaneous well, speak the language. But yes, only I've if, heard you. Only if it's in communication with another. I can, I can't, well, it's not that I can't. I know I can. I just haven't been able to perceive it yet. Um, yes, yes. The ability to spontaneously speak the language. Yes. Um, do you have any tips that could perhaps um, help with this? Yes. Let's speak right now. What's, what do you think about that tip? That's cool. Tuoho koho dan. Mia hakati. Mia tuoho ha. Shuoho koti. Tehti kiana tuo. Muhu koho koha. Tehti kiana ha. Koho ho tushu kumbu haki. Tana kaha ka tuho ha. Chikano wa kalu. Mie. Wa mie. Mie. Mia ha kaha. Tushu koho. Yeah. <laughs> Tashi koho mo koho mo ha. Me hiki yana tuwa ha. Kho shu mo tu. Ki yaro wa ha. Yaro wa ha. Me. Me hi o wa ha. Shiko wa tsu shiko wa ma ha sho wa ha. Shiko wa tsu shiko wa ha. Mehi kiana tuaho koshu huko to haki ti ta hango koho koshu huki kania ta hongo ko hotu hotu kutu no shuko kaha eni tiana tuaho ko ha ete shua ha haki ti ni. Ashwah Shuahakiteahama Kita shua ha shi chi mu a a a ka chu shua ha ni a mu a a shua ha ti
touching your heart. One of Hatuwa Shiva, Ah, uh, no, She should have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Hatuana na kusi, hata kwa yu, hata la yu waha, tus kuaha, ta yandu kwa, askato ata tie ye yiski, tua ata sky ka, ha tua. Asheta kwa shamo, waha kaka, te muhashika ashana ho. Washi we can welcome Jaguar and thank you for coming and being with us today. And I know at the beginning it was a bit difficult, but uh, we got our groove back. And I believe we all did very well. We learned a lot of things from you today. And we appreciate all the effort that all of our friends are putting into our um, enlightenment or, or us bringing back us back and getting to know ourselves again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Hakatini. Hope to see you in my dreams. Yes, Moha. Thank you very much, and I would like you to have private sessions with us. Yes, that is forthcoming for quite some time in 3D. In due time, private will be available. It is not correct at the time, but that will happen eventually. Thank, Thank you, you very much and for that it. invitation. It will be a very high honor to be in your presence again with all of you that are in this webinar. May it be 
within a platform or watching in real time or in what you perceive as the future. It was a very, very high honor to be in your presence. I love Oof. you. Oh. Yes. I love you also. I am aware. So thank you for all the love and light you have expressed. You also I wish to give back all that you sent. And to all of you all that you sent. It was a very beautiful and powerful experience. I hope you got from it, let's say, what you were wishing to get from it, and that you take the tools we have explored today and put them to use and apply them. For ideas are very powerful, yet in 3D action that is rooted in powerful ideas is more powerful, even more powerful than yeah. simple actions. So I invite you all to explore in your time, in your process, these ideas and to experiment with them. I urge you to apply them. So if at the time there are no further questions or comments, I wish to finish this transmission with a short blessing, if that is appropriate. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Okay, Dan. That was good, Dan. Congrats, yeah. Dan. Congratulations, Dan. And to all that took some let's say, steps, risks, or whatever you want to call them. Just whoever stepped out of their comfort zone or existing beliefs, it was a pleasure to see and experience all of that. So congratulations to you. Thank you all for being a part of it. It's great. Yagar, how much do you remember when you are shambling? All of it, although my 3D mind's memory is uh, non-linear, but I'm I'm fully present while I'm channeling. Yeah, you're aligned with uh, a hockey team. Yes. Uh, Sabrina, may we uh, finish the broadcast now? Yes. Please, thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you everybody for coming and um, please don't forget to go to our website humancolony.org for further information on our webinars with Jim, with Nick and with Zachariah and uh, coming in the future with Jaguar. So thank you again. Namaste. Namaste.